Senator Young. Director Kratzios, welcome to the committee. Thanks to you and your team for your hard work. Really appreciate it. Um, you've shown great leadership in developing the AI action plan, and um, uh, I appreciate you discussing uh, here today the importance of following through with this uh, executive branch playbook. Um, I've been chairman for the last couple of years of the, of the National Security Commission on Emerging Biotech, uh, NSCEB. Uh, you have visited with myself and, and some other commissioners about our report. And I was really pleased to see an emphasis in your action plan on AI-enabled science. Mm -hmm. One of the recommendations requests that NSF, DOE, NIST, and other federal agencies invest in automated cloud-enabled labs. Uh, this priority aligns with a recommendation here again for, uh, from our report. Um, and that is why right before the August recess, Senator Kim and I introduced the Cloud Lab to, uh, to Advance uh, Biotech, uh, also known by its acronym, the Lab Act, which would establish a national network of cloud labs focused on biotech. Can you elaborate on the importance of cloud labs for our research and development in biotechnology and how you see cloud labs accelerating the pace of innovation as compared to traditional R&D models? Yes, the ability to have automated labs um, where you can send in the experiment that you want to do and the lab itself conducts it and then comes back to you with results in and of itself is a huge value add. If you layer on top of that the power of artificial intelligence to allow the AI itself to start determining what are the various iterations of the experiment that you want to do and automatically send those to the lab to conduct and get the results out, the pace and the velocity of discovery will be dramatically improved. So it's fair to say uh, this could allow us to supercharge uh, the pace of innovation. Most certainly, and the NSF is, is already running ahead with, with a proposal around these, these cloud labs. Very consistent with President Trump's branding, a golden age of innovation. This really could, could help uh, usher that, uh, that period in, I believe. I'm going to uh, pivot now to uh, standards mm -hmm. uh, as it relates to AI and the impact of a lack of certainty for innovators seeking to develop and deploy AI. Congress is notorious for being late to the punch when it comes to development of standards and, and regulations. And as other countries move forward in adopting their own, American companies are then subject to potentially differing rules across the globe. Can you speak to the risks associated with continuing to subject our AI innovators to a fragmented series of rules, including those enforced by other countries as well as states here at home? Yeah, I think creating standards from at the U.S. level that are prominent globally is very important. Um, the, in the weekend after the AI action plan was released, um, the PRC held their large AI conference in Shanghai. And one of the, the main thrusts of their own AI action plan that they released in response to ours was a desire to create a global entity, in, an AI entity in Shanghai that would then promulgate global rules around, around AI for the world. And this is an example of why it's so important for the U.S. to be the leader in the way that we provide standards around AI, particularly around model evaluation and standard setting. And this is something that, that we know our adversaries are going to try to compete with us on, so it, it's more important than ever that we, that we do that. It's not just an issue of interoperability. I mean, you, you could literally make the argument that our values are embedded in the standards uh, mm -hmm. of our technologies. Yes. And, and uh, so we want to have the ability to uh, define what those standards are and then allow the export-oriented uh, uh, economies, uh, uh, China in particular, to have to sell into our market, game, set, and match. Before I yield back, I, I want to uh, mention that Ranking Member Cantwell and I plan to reintroduce a revamped version of our Future of AI Innovation Act. This is vital legislation that will authorize the newly renamed Center for AI Standards and Innovation at NIST to promote the development of voluntary standards. Will you commit to working with us on the Future of AI Innovation Act as we revamp it for this Congress, Director Kratzios? Yes, we'd love to see more there and work with you on it. Thank you so much. As, as you've indicated in your testimony, there are many opportunities for Congress to work with the administration to take action for American AI leadership, and I hope the committee will do just that. Chairman? 